Hi, so the recent patch brought with it a number of things we need to adjust to, one of which is the fact that we cannot change talents even out of combat unless we're in a rest zone. So what we need to do is to have tomes or codices of the clear mind in order to do that for our party or raid group or just us personally. So I'm just going to go over how we can do that nice and simply. And we've also had a little problem in the nameplates from far away mobs are appearing in the middle of our screen. So I'm just going to go through how we deal with that nice and simply as well. Now, of course, it's not a big deal not being able to change your talents in, say, dungeons or LFR or anything like that. But if you're going to be in an organized raid, then it is going to be expected to do this. So you can purchase the pattern for the Tome of the Clear Mind, which is what you need to just do a personal one. It'll last for a minute. And as long as you're out of combat, it allows you to change your talents within that minute. It only acts on you personally. Uh, you can get that from the Quartermaster just outside the main building in your garrison. Now, it's an inscription pattern, and I know what you might be saying. You might be thinking, well, I don't have an inscription character. What I would say is maybe you do. Um, a lot of people who raid over the course of this expansion are likely to have alts. Now, not all do. I accept it. But let's face it, there hasn't been a lot else to do in Warlords of Draenor. So a number of people will have alts, and it's quite likely some of them will not have any professions allocated, from my experience of uh, how people behave with these sort of things. You only need inscription level one to be able to use this pattern. So if you've got a free profession slot, learn an inscription and just go and get the pattern and start using it. Now, what you will need to do is to mill a load of herbs. So, okay, in this particular case, it would be helpful if you had the mass milling from which you get this from the herb trader. Uh, if the herb trader is not about that day and you can't find someone's garrison who is, he'll let you in then okay you're gonna to have to do it manually but if you're only making them for yourself it shouldn't be too onerous so you need to uh, mill a load of herbs get whatever's cheapest it really doesn't matter which ones whichever drenor herbs are cheapest then what you're going to need to do is turn it into warbinders ink and then you just need to get um, the parchment which you just get off your normal general goods a uh, trade goods vendor or you get it off your mount if you've got the uh, yak uh, you can buy it off that. That costs next to nothing as well. And you'll be able to make these things for you relatively cheaply. They don't actually cost that much at all. In fact, what I've been doing to generate a net zero cost is actually been keep making twice as much as I want for myself, keeping half and selling the other half on the auction house. Um, now, when it comes to the codex of the clear mind, this sort of works for everyone. So this can be sort of part of your raid wide. Uh, obviously more expensive materials. Now, the way you get this pattern is quite simple. Again, you need to be an, uh, a scribe. And you just do a dungeon. Um, it seems to just drop off the last boss. As far as I can tell, it's pretty much guaranteed. Uh, so go and do a dungeon. Last boss, you'll get the pattern. I, uh, I hope you do anyway. Um, certainly, that's what happened with me and someone else I know. That's what we think. And the same deal applies. You could just make a certain amount for your raid group. And keep half and put half on the auction house and sell those and that seems to be a good way to do it for me and overall it hasn't in fact I've actually made slightly out of it so it doesn't really cost anything there. Okay now on to the next thorny little problem we have got a bit of a problem where NPCs sometimes are far away in Iron Hellfire Citadel this has happened to us on Gorefiend as well as Manoroth where we've got a nameplate that suddenly appeared in the middle of our screen. You can see it here uh, just in Orgrimmar with training dummies. Those training dummies are miles away. Now, there's a script you can use. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'll put this in the comments below as well so it's easy for you to copy it, uh, create a macro with this and just press the button. We're getting a bit of a warning now that's warning against using uh, scripted commands like this. Um, but, you know, click OK. It's not going to lose you your gold. It's, um, and you can see me using it here. And what it does, it has the effect. It does a, a reload as well. The, those... Unit frames will then behave themselves. Those nameplates will behave themselves. Um, so if you're having that problem where you've got a faraway NPC with the nameplate right in the middle of the screen and it's causing you trouble, just have this macro handy and just click it and all should be good. So as always, I hope you found this useful. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Also share with other people who might be interested, especially if you happen to have raiders in your guild who haven't got their terms of clear mind. It's really quite straightforward for the majority of people to get these themselves. And until next time, I'll see you later.